This video is about how I finished my Descent cardigan. Here's my sweater after I finished the knitting, but before reinforcing and cutting it open. Those vertical stripes at the center of the yoke are extra stitches called a steek panel. I'll mark the center and sides of the steek panel, reinforce the stitches on either side of the center, cut the sweater open between the legs of the center stitch, and pick up stitches for the button bands on both sides. I like to mark the center of the center stitch of my cardigan front clearly with a line of basted stitches to make reinforcing and cutting easier. Here's me double checking that I'm reading the stripes correctly and actually inserting my waist yarn on a tapestry needle in the correct spot. I then proceed to make big, long stitches to create a dashed line up the center. I'm extra careful once I get past the color work section so I'm sure I'm not moving over a half stitch to the left or right. Once I get all the way down to the bottom, I'll make sure I've done the top two. Then I'll mark the spots between the steek panel and the body of the sweater. On this sweater, that's between the light colored and dark colored vertical stripes. I'll do this on both the right and left sides of the center. Here's what it looks like when I've basted all three guidelines. The next step is to use my sewing machine to stitch four lines, two on either side of the center line, in the stitches adjacent to the center stitch. The goal is to sew one line of stitches up the stitch leg closest to the, to the center stitch, and one line up the other leg of that same stitch. I'm not sewing into the center stitch at all. To think about stitch legs, you can look at your stitches as a series of V's. The left part of the V is the left leg and the right part of the V is the right leg. I'm using thread that matches my main color yarn so it won't be obvious on the inside of my sweater. So I need to sew really slowly to see where I'm going. The stitch line is pretty invisible, but it is there. Having two lines of stitches on either side adds extra reinforcement. Before I cut, it's really important that I weave all my ends away from the center. It's so easy to think you'll just do it later, but what will really happen is that you'll cut those ends too short to weave in and you'll have no way to secure them. I like to use duplicate stitch on the wrong sides to weave in all my ends. And this is it, the exciting and terrifying part. I'm just going to cut my sweater up the center using sharp scissors and following my basted stitch line as a guide. It doesn't matter at all if I cut the basting thread as I go. I'll pull it out later, but I don't focus on it while I cut, except to use it as a guide. And nothing bad happens to the cut edge. It's just super neat and pretty. If your yarn is more slippery, it might look a little more shaggy than this, but knit stitches really don't care about unraveling horizontally, so physics is on your side. The next step is to pick up stitches for the button bands. I'll pick up stitches by inserting my needle from front to back between the steek panel stitches and the sweater body stitches, the spot marked by the blue basting thread. Picking up this way will cause the steek stitches to fold under to the wrong side of the sweater. I pick up two stitches for every three rows, so I'll pick up two in a row, then skip the third space all the way to the bottom. I need a multiple of four plus two so I can have a two by two ribbing that starts and ends with knit two on right side rows. So I'll just decrease if necessary in the first row if needed to get that multiple. For the left band as worn, I'll pick up starting at the top, and for the right band, I'll pick up starting at the bottom. Here's what it looks like when I've picked up for the whole band. Then I just pull the basting thread out. If it's not pulling out easily from one end, just try it from the other. After that, I just worked my ribbed bands and added buttonholes on the right band. See the end of my tutorial on the Descent Cardigan Hack for specifics info on how to do buttonholes. This is my finished sweater. 
though I still haven't found the right buttons, so it's still missing that. You can ask questions in the comments and get the descent pattern at andrearangel.com. Thanks for watching!